All right, listen. Yo, look at this message. I didn't get a chance to play Darkest Dungeon 1 with you, but I've played a ton of Darkest Dungeon. I'm a huge fan. I've heard a lot of good things. It's about making the most of a bad situation. You are not expected to succeed on your first expedition or even your tenth. Heroes will die, failure will abound, and the world will seek to smother your flame. Take heart. Do not relent. Press forward through the encroaching gloom and face your fears. Redemption, at last, can be found deep within the icy depths of the... Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> two. Darkest Dungeon 2. I've heard mentions about this game. Dude. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just. Yeah. Dude. All I know is that you can lose everything in a heartbeat and it's hilarious <laughs> I mean these games are all about uh, uh, yeah survival and grit and all these things but more importantly it's about the fucking narrator and his voice that just carries you through the night um, it's easily one of my favorite games ever and uh, two is very different from one. Okay. It's been a while since I've played one on stream, especially. It's been years. Two is in early access right now, and uh, I have managed to uh, beat chapter one, which is all that's out so far. And guess what? It's fucking fantastic. Um, expected. We have some unexpected time to kill, so let's just fucking play some Darkest Dungeon. I'm down. I'm down. Let's see how things go. So, what am I looking here? What is this number on top? So, right off the bat, the old game was, uh, you'd, you'd, you'd play and die, and you'd slowly build up your hamlet, which was your home base, and unlock access to new, stronger weapons, abilities, and stress release uh, locations. In this game, it's less like that, and it's more like another game called uh, Slay the Spire. I don't know if yes, you know it. I've heard about that one. Okay, so that is where you have a profile that you unlock as you play. More items, more things build, and you have a hope meter down here. Because um, in the last game, you're defeat you're going into the darkest dungeon to defeat this evil that threatens everything. And in this game, yeah, the world's gone to shit. And now it's time to just ride out and stop it in more than just the hamlet where you were. Okay. Um, right. Let's check that camera. Let's fix that. I can do that. Uh, we just need to be a, a little smarter and do it like maybe this. Perfect. That looks good. Uh, so you're going out into the world this time around, which means um, you're going to be dealing with whatever you find at various inns on the road. And um, the pace as a whole becomes a bit more um it was always kind of roguelike in random progression but instead of having a home base and then changing out your units there now your base is this roving wagon and you kind of are oh. on a path and you just you have to take whatever comes your way okay you know so this is hope the flame of hope is what you have attached to your wagon and the the high, the flame that can go up or down depending on how bright or how dark things are will affect gameplay in a lot of different ways. I'm assuming if I click continue, yes, we're starting from technical scratch. Uh, unfortunately, the I think the intro, yeah, there's no intro since I've already gone through things. Right. Uh, but will it play if I do start new journey? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I have to set my mouse as well. Shit. Okay, there's a couple of things I gotta do. All right, uh, one second. One second, folks. <laughs> let me let me set my mouse settings. It's gonna take a because like you can control the carriage, and I'd rather control it with my mouse. Okay. Didn't think we'd be doing this today. Uh, <laughs> so I'm being the goodest boy right now. I'm being calm, patient. I'm just waiting to get this show on the road. <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. Now, 
Oh, because you're you're wait you're waiting for oblivion, <laughs> and you're here to laugh at my pain. I'm not wishing for bad luck. You know, I want you to succeed. Reggie, bad luck is going to happen. <laughs> this is this is the way this works. It's how you mitigate that luck. Not unlike the Dokapon adventures we've been having. Oh boy. Um. So make no mistake, like it's it's likely gonna go bad. But I think I've learned how to be pretty all right at the game. And I think I've learned about a thing or two about uh, risk mitigation. So I'm not that worried. We travel through the incalculable dimensions of human weakness. Indistinct and ill-lighted. No comfort awaits you here. I take that back. I'm very nervous because <laughs> I'm on stream and we all know what that means. <laughs> you can be amazing off camera, but the moment you hit that button. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Be ready to do everything perfectly. Not. Not. <sighs> the red fires of hell rise. <laughs> so. I hereby acknowledge and accept the fullness and severity of my, of my mistakes. mistakes. The shackles of denial must be destroyed. There's a lot to say and a lot to compare from the old the game and now. A beacon for the broken and the battered. But let's just let the game speak for itself, you know? We've got a cast. Okay. Uh, originally, you would go to the stagecoach and uh, see who was available. And, uh, well, this time, uh, you get to pick distinctly and make your team and compose it the way you would. So we have a rank and target? Exactly. So to explain a little bit better about all of this, um, you have four characters. Uh, you're playing with them, and they all have ranks. So the yellow here is the first rank, second, third, and fourth. Enemies have the exact same thing. So these dots represent the position of your team and their team, and the enemies. Uh, their attacks atta are made for best use at specific ranges from specific positions, right? So for example, the highwayman, Dismas. He's good at any rank, which means he can fight from all four. Okay. He's best in slots two and three. Yeah. But he can fight from all four. Uh, high damage, versatile, and he has repost, which is an amazing ability. Uh, you can see the abilities here, that you're, that you, and you can unlock more as you go. I've unlocked all of his because the Highwayman is one of my favorite classes. Okay. And I'm choosing between five of the uh, 11 that I want him to use. So, uh, what I tend to do is give him, uh, not Grape Shot Blast, but Point Blank Shot and, uh, Highway Robbery. Uh, so we take off Tracking Shot and we give him this. Uh, these each have abilities, which I I'll explain once we're in battle and then you can kind of see. And a bit they more. also have ranks where they're better to be used as well. Uh, when you hover, hover on the Exactly. Okay. So Wicked Slice here likes to be in positions one, two, or three. You can't use it if you're in la and fourth. And you can't use it if the enemies are in the last two ranks. Exactly. Okay. From a, pla from a place to a place. Uh, point blank shot is when you're up front and they're up front. Okay. That dude's taking some fucking damage. All right. Now, damage numbers are very low because life is low because everything is low. So... An attack doing three to six is like, yeah, okay, that's normal. In fact, that's all right. An attack doing two to three is pretty weak. So when you see something like six to 12, that's fantastic, okay. you know? And I assume that sometimes like you can have one enemy and it's in rank one or four. Or one enemy that's in rank one and two. Okay, one. Yes. Thick, okay. Big boys. Okay. Um, right, th there's a lot to the game, yeah. so we, we know I don't want to just sit and explain because we'll That's be fine. here forever. Yeah. Uh, these are quirks. We have positive and negative quirks. Randomly, he has this, which is uh, amateur armorsmith, which means round start. He has a five percent chance of 
shield, I guess. Shield, which you can press escape over here and then look at the token glossary to see that it means block. Take okay. minus 75% damage from the next hit. Unfortunately, some of these icons look very close to each other, so this is yeah. one of the problems block, that I think they need to fix going forward. Guarded. Exactly, because these icons are not at this size in game. They're closer to this size. I see. You know? Uh, and then negative quirk. Uh, combat start, 50% chance uh, of uh, his head injury. So 50% chance of that procking, which is a dazed. dazed state. Next turn will be delayed to the end of the round. So Everyone has things yeah. like this. And they, you gain more and you gain less as your stress goes up and down. Okay. And as things happen. Um, All right. Pick your team, then. He's coming with... Hunted. Harried. A fugitive seeking to outpace the past. What else? The grave robber. Audrey. Yeah. She has some uh, abilities as well that are fantastic. Namely, her ability to clear corpses. So we're going to take away flashing daggers and give her clear corpse. Avarice slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. Bars. This whole game is bars. <laughs> Yo, bars. This whole game is bars, dude. <laughs> Ranged attacks plus for ten percent damage. Unerring, light sensitive. Uh, if flame is greater than seventy-five, or greater than or equal to yeah. seventy-five, combat start. You will have a chance of, or you'll have two weak. Next attack deals minus fifty percent damage. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we want you to have Dead of the Night. Yes, we do. Uh, Plague Doctor, Paracelsus. And you can change names, too. Oh. You can change or customize. Because before, they would be all have different names automatically as they come through the, the caravan. Oh, okay. Uh, here, they just give you the ability to uh, do it yourself. So we are going to take away uh, Blinding Gas. And we're going to replace it with Plague Grenade, Emboldening Vapors, instead of Ounce of Prevention. Um, and Indiscriminate Science is better when I upgrade it. Uh, but for now, it's unupgraded, in which case I will stick with my normal healing. So we're going to go with these five. Okay. Plague Doctor is in. Indiscriminate Science stains the surgeon's hands. Wayne Jude. What have you been doing? And then for Doctor. our rank one big boys, we've got a couple choices between uh, the Man at Arms, the Hellion, Boudica, or the Leper. Alec Baldwin. No. Okay, just Baldwin. No. <laughs> Random button. We're not calling him Baldwin. To Clive Owen. Kaufman. Andy Kaufman. Vilhart. Why are you ruining everything? <laughs> Schneider. Oh, that's my brother's name. Gross. Schneider? Yeah. Your brother's name is Schneider. Yeah. For real, for real. That's not what I would expect <laughs> of a Haitian family. I know. I don't get it either. How did that happen? I have no freaking idea. I guess I'll have to ask. Wow. But yeah, my brother's a Schneider. Wow. <laughs> Rob Schneider is the leper. <laughs> oh. Ribot. Ribot. Rosenfield. Yeah. Bajot. Fritz. Tyrell, Bohan. There's a lot of names. We can keep it going. Ciel, Bourdet, Pierrepont, Bognard, Coffee, Coffee, Bradley, Roux, Reed, Anzare. Yeah, it's not, that's all right. Follet, Comet, Tessel, Macon, Habi, Marina, Bean. Oh, <laughs> Bean! <laughs> you can do it, Bean! Bean. <laughs> I love the name Bean. It's the cutest shit. <laughs> a little Bean. Bean's coming for the ride. He's coming for the ride. Uh, we are going to give him... Let's go, Rowan. Let's go. Uh, okay, we want you to have... Corpse clearing is not necessary because we've got someone to do that. Withstand is useful. Solemnity is a must. Reflection is also a must. Maybe purge replaced with hue. 
for some occasional frontline damage. Uh, and Chop is a better version. But the damage on Chop is way better, so I like to have the option on both. Uh, these are the... This is... This is the configuration I like. Adversity is the very essence of existence. And then pat your hand on the stagecoach. And you're off. The valley. Forward now. Into the crumbling chaos of the world. Man, stay home. <laughs> <laughs> Holy sh... So, here's... Before we keep moving, here's a little breakdown of your character uh, screens. You have the ability to equip them with trinkets, which will help with whatever specifics. You've got their relationships. When these go up or down in the blue or the yellow, that's positive and negative. Oh. Um, and when they hit a threshold, the relationship is tested and then becomes something. Right? Hateful, jealous, inseparable. And they, those have effects in battle. Uh, this is also uh, uh, affected by the stress meter, because every character has a life bar. Yeah. And then underneath that invisible, there is the stress, which can go up to 10. And when stress gets very high, you can have a meltdown. People start getting ugly, accusing others. It gets bad. You can fall apart. You can crack, right? Break down. You can crack. Okay. <laughs> Your numbers, I don't know. Be honest about that. <laughs> Be honest about your numbers, but your numbers are, you know, they're visible. Oh, we, can, we can see them. Oh, man. <laughs> and uh, here's other things. Condition. So, for example, the leper has a condition in which he has a 50% chance of starting with um, missing, or a 50% chance, chance of missing his swings. And you have to deal with that. Um, that sucks. On the regular. But you have to compensate for it. And it does suck, but it's because he does so much damage. So his blind status uh, is worth dealing with and mitigating as much as possible. And we... All that leprosy in the eyes. Drive the stagecoach left and right. Oh, you have to dodge stuff? Uh, you can gain things. Oh, God. Is the mouse fucking acting up again? Sorry, it is. Excuse me. I don't know why, but like... Not all the buttons are, are responding. Perhaps I left this for you. Perhaps you left it for yourself. Perhaps it is not here at all. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. So, the man who's talking is uh, an important character from the last game, and... This is kind of like leftover things and ideas, and he's talking to someone that he used to work with, essentially the scholar. So we got some items, uh, smoke bomb, drum, tools for the inn, trinkets, trinkets to equip ourselves with. Plus two speed, coach upgrade, rare, better prices at shops. Good. Some relics, currency. And right away we could equip that shit. All right, so speed. I want my highwayman moving before all others, if possible. Melee attacks plus 15 damage. We're gonna just make it heavy. Big boy swings big. And then uh, combat items are also things you can put on their person to uh, have limited usage. So here we go, buff. Uh, blight resistance. Give that to Paracelsus and blind the enemy. Let's give that to Audrey. Light sensitive. And huh? Yeah. Sorry, I just I'm testing out the buttons here. First meeting on the steps of the university. A collegial handshake that would doom us both. What is happening? Sorry, the, the, the keys are just not responding. Uh, left and right. There we go. Sorry, let me fix this. Something's wrong with the, okay. with the mouse.
There we go. Okay, we fixed it. You good now? Yes, we're good now. Facing oblivion, these folks have kept their honor. Have you? So you meet people straggling along the way, and you can have a few choices of how to interact with them. They need your help. You've got a flame. In this case, ours is pretty low. And you can choose to share, trade, flame, resources, and get things in exchange. Okay. Or you can take. And whatever that does to them, uh, that's besides the point. It's more importantly is how do the rest of your team feel about it. Right. So you choose which team member is going to speak and what they say. And at the bottom down there, you can see what you get as a result. And, and then the, the, the yellow means everyone agrees with what you're about to say or do. Sometimes half the team might be like, fuck it, let's take this shit. Okay. And others might be like, no, let's help them. And that'll make everybody feel a certain way. So right now, everybody is shining. Because we're about to set off. And whoever says this is going to gain favor with the rest of the group. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Bean. Purpose dawns within us like the sun. An unexpected find. Slime mold. Restores 10% HP, minus 10% disease resist. Sh shitty healing item. But we got flame, as you start out most adventures. And they talk as you, as you roll to each other, to themselves. Everyone's got personalities. And in fact, you can see more about those personalities when you look at the quirks. Some people are more talk of, talk, talkative than others. Paracelsus is slippery, so big chance of dodge going on, okay. right? But also a pacifist. Gains stress every time he has to attack somebody. Oh. She has to attack somebody, excuse me. Plague Doctor's a she. Oh, okay. Uh, so, you know, and like these things, like some of these things will just be like, fucking never shuts up. <laughs> Always telling stories. That's Huge awesome. liar. You know? And like that all is is has an effect on your team. The point of no return welcomes you with open arms. Zero league to in. Well, the first things first. Of your denial is giving way. Before the end, we've got some shit in the way. Round one. Lost souls and a widow. And you can see their resistances beneath them okay, yeah. as well. Before you could also see the moves they do. Uh, now, not, not any longer. But yeah. So I'm going to take a poison dart. This is made for r rank four, five, uh, four, three, two. Yeah. And it hits all four. Cool. And it's going to do some light damage, right? And you can see the turn order up here as well. Ah, okay, yes. Grenade. Hit that back row. Deal with her. Every time I blight, it builds up the damage on that. And the all attack. Big chomp. The widow. Gruesome reflection. Causes horror. horror. Horror is going to build up stress over the next three turns. One stress point of the ten. And, uh, yeah, because those sh it's shadowy, 49. There's a lot of factors here. The light means that they have a 20% battle advantage chance. So there's a lot of factors to think about. Okay. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is going to have a 50% chance of missing. But I have an ability called Reflection, which takes that away. And it takes a turn. And it also removes one stress point, which you can see down here. He has a broken sword. So the leper is thinking. A broken slab. He's calming himself down. Of iron. Duelist's advance takes me from one rank in two, three, or four forward. Attack something. Puts on repost, which is a counterattack anytime I'm touched. Okay. And dodge and a dodge token. So the attacks can switch your right to okay. Now that I'm here, he's fast, he's point blank, point blank shot, rank one to one. Bang! Get the Death fuck out. Blow. Bodies in the way. This gets this interrupts our ability to fight oh. normally if I need something to be attacking from rank two to rank two, rather. Mm. So the body, the corpse stays here. 
This is why the Grave Robber is perfect, because I unlocked an ability for her, Dead of Night, clears corpses, and heals her in the process. Not bad. And then they move up a rank. Paracelsus, dealing with horror. That's okay. You're able to heal people and do things so far. No need. So, finish her off. And then now that you don't have a, a blind state, chop. Bean. Another impediment cleared with impunity. Yeah. So mastery and so, some loot. Exactly, and that's what a battle's like. So that's your first kind of little like uh, battle example, and you get a point of mastery, which upgrades one of those abilities on any one of the characters when we get to the next resting point. Okay. Uh, all right, Laudanum. perfect. Laudanum, which is always good. We got uh, in healing. We got a trinket. trinket for max HP. Better prices of chops. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. Now, before we put some stuff on max HP, let's give that to you. Uh, then, combat items, anti stress. You can hold on to that. Which means I can give this to someone else. Oh. There we go. You can also take a look at the stagecoach and see it's called The Last Hope, and you can add things to it <laughs> as we go. You can rename it as well. So that's always fun. So you can explore around the end. No, so now we're at a now we're gonna that was like a just a set road, and then you're gonna have forking pathways in uh, different locations the going is forward. A little worse for wear, but familiar nonetheless. So you'll have one destination and like three re ro roads to get there. Okay. That lead to other branches, that lead to other branches, and all come back to that same point. And those branches can be things you want to aim for, or they can be unknown. Some of them are more treacherous, some of them are more peaceful, and risk and reward are balanced across each one. Okay. Which, again, is a Slay the Spire kind of thing, uh, okay. where you pick which road to the boss you want to take. Cool. So everyone became a little more friendly. With Bean. Uh, yeah. And now they're shitting and just resting, and we can choose how to spend our time. So far, this is we're pretty healthy because it's just the first in, right? To check out the relationships, you can see here two points towards Bean. Positive, positive, positive. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes Bean a little bit because he said that cool thing when we started the adventure. Yeah. Everyone's pretty healthy as well, so just a little bit of stress reduction, maybe. Did this as a boy, and bam! As you highlight them, you have like unique animations for them, just mm -hmm. you know, doing whatever the thing might be. But you just—they're taking a fucking load off, you know. It's so cool. Uh, all right, mastery. Listen, practice, improve. This is the mastery trainer. You choose one point and what skill you want to upgrade. My first point, without question, goes to Duelist's Advance. Because it turns it from two reposts, turns into three, and it gives him a, a dodge token. Yeah. More damage, more crit. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. You choose what you want to put on the... The... Tor uh, the, 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 the coach... So we picked up better prices of chops. Bolt it on and be off. The, the mountain stack? will not be denied. You have four slots to choose. Okay. So far, we only have two, so that's what we're doing. And then plan our next route. Every road a winding torment. Every turn bent on our destruction. Do you understand how the fucking narrator <laughs> is just the whole thing? It's all bars. Hard dude. carry. It's all bars. While you're fighting, while you're dying, everything you do, success. That's the tone behind you. So we got the Fodor. Uh, chance of cultist encounters, two hundred percent. 
The challenge is win a cultist battle for the reward of a plague doctor only blight resistance, um, fire burn resistance. Or we can go to the sprawl. And the challenge is avoid the hospital for the reward of a mastery point. Absolutely. Our great cities burn. All that beauty and knowledge. Ash on the wind. <laughs> Let's go. Journey onward. So this is where you hear, this is where you, you get me saying like, a reminder that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. <laughs> <laughs> And then I fall off a ledge. Yeah. <laughs> what horrors. Brought low and brought into the Behold, mud. The great cities of man. Oh, shit. Ruined. And a flame. Okay. So now we ride through a burning city. And they show you the path. And you can choose for the lit ones, because we have a ch Some of them are undiscovered. Yeah. But some of them are. You can choose. We can go help people and trade. Unknown. Or find a watchtower, which will reveal more question marks. Mm -hmm. Blue means uh, more chance of fights. Okay. Yellow means clean path. Probably safer, but not guaranteed. And uh, there's always cultists to worry about. Also. Uh, and like, yeah, cultists. Oh, let's get out of... Okay, camera's not doing great there. <laughs> but each member of the party has a place they want to go. Oh. So... Paracelsus and Audrey want to go towards the assistance encounter. Uh, Dismas wants the unknown. No one wants the watchtower. But I know the watchtower is better, so I'm going to go that way anyways. Does that affect relationship or...? Stress goes up. Oh, boy. They didn't like that. I don't want that. They I, didn't like that. I think this is the safer path. So this is the problem, is sometimes the decisions you make are the best decisions, but they don't like what you're doing. And if we aim and hit the rubble, then we collect items. Unfortunately, the stagecoach is not the best feeling in control. It's, it's... Oh, I bet it's supposed to be like that. Yeah. I like the old game you walked around on foot and uh, it was pretty straightforward, but I, I like the idea, but I just kind of wish it was a bit more like auto mm -hmm. because like everything else in the game is like turn-based and simple and progress uh, and you just progress at your pace. But in this case, it's uh, action-based and it's like not super tight. Okay. So now we can see a lot of those question marks unveiled mm. and plan, plan accordingly. So before we get to the end, a uh, couple encounters. Hero shrines are the most important things to head to. So absolutely go to every one of those. Got a hospital over here and a hero shrine over here. Shit, we already missed one of them. Oh, damn. And we can't get back to Couldn't it. Couldn't know, yeah. Nope. All right. Hero Shrines. Should have listened to the team. Well, <laughs> Hero Shrines will give you backstory on the characters. Oh, that's cool. Chapter by chapter. And with each memory, they unlock new uh, abilities in, in combat. Yo, I like uh, I like the art direction oh, of this. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. The Hoarder. He hoards, he trades. He has wares. But we have 24 uh, golden shit. squares. He doesn't have milk rags. Okay. There's an item I need desperately. Uh, in the meantime, let's just get some... So are these like three different currencies? Yes. Okay. Exactly. You've got relics, you've got... No, well, mastery is oh, just for okay. upgrade points. But you've got rel relics and baubles. And you can spend them on uh, these okay. types of things here. All right. Uh, are you eyeing right now? All right. Uh, laudanum's always good because stress becomes a problem. The tools of violence. Despicable and dangerous. But there's a high value consumable for my for the team configuration I have that I, I, I'm on the lookout for. Uh, so let's just get a little bit of this. Stress reduction. Uh, then strength token. Bandages is always helpful for ble anti-bleed, but... Plague Doctor can deal with that. Um, and let's see here. Negative quirk purging. That's always good. How bad are my quirks, though? Are there any really bad ones I want to get rid of? Uh, never pulls a punch. 10% damage in exchange for... Uh, yeah, 15% chance. 
Uh, oh, escape here might actually leave the zone, which I don't want to do. Was it... There was a keyboard icon for... Was it I? Was it T? Tokens? No. Alright. Anyway. Don't mess up. C? C. No, it doesn't work here. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. You, can only, you can't do it once you're in a shop. So... Uh, you can't check tokens in a shop. You have to be outside in the in the stagecoach, which, again, another another one of those things. The icon system in general can do with a whole lot of improvement. Oh. Um, just to verify what some of those icons are, but I wanted to see uh, how bad my quirks were. That's what I was looking at. Uh, you're not bad. That's not great. Uh, that's not great either. Pacifist. You stress up on attack, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Alright, we're gonna buy some cork healing. Uh there we go. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Three left. We don't have to spend everything. A little shopping is always a welcome diversion. You can hold on to some laudanum. Where are we going? Uh, we want to go uh, towards the fight. That branches. Hospital. We don't need a hospital yet. We can take on a fight. Reduce the loathing. The loathing is this meter over here. The loathing is basically the 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 tang like the near tangible hatred in the air in the world. And the higher it is, the more difficult everything becomes. Oh, wow. Okay. And if you deal with the loathing by, like, clear cleansing out cultists and those that are filled with the most uh, tr uh, hatred and the troubles and all the problems that you, you know, then you then you bring peace a little bit more to, like, an already shitty world. So if you take a safe path, it might go up? Uh, no, if you don't attack resistance encounters, it, it doesn't go down. Okay. Okay. So, we're gonna do light. Mm, not bad. Not bad. We're not going to make it, are we? Already stressing. Yep. Already panicking. Is that a big one? That's a big one. He's taking up ranks one and two. Yeah. And he's the woodsman. And then we've got an urchin with uh, a crossbow and a widow to deal with. And there's arbalists and shit like that. Okay, let's start with blight. Oh, resistance. Not to mention, and now you're invisible. Not to mention the 50% reduction on that. That's okay. Uh, stress down a little bit, buddy. Um, and get rid of that token. Okay. Duelist advance. Deal with the widow. Crit. Stumbling and stupefied. Loses a good turn. Post. Bleeding. Oh no. Three turns of bleeding. We can heal that. Uh, Throne dagger. Probably kill. Nope. Alright. Point blank. Another crit. And no and pushes back. Oh what? What's in the box? Yeah. Stress. <laughs> <laughs> stress is in the box. Ah shit, my wrist is getting a little Oh. A little hurt from all the mouse usage today. Time to cube up. Time to cube up, if only a little bit. All right. You please reduce the stress on Bean. There is comfort in company. And uh, stop the bleeding on Dismas. 
this wound at least has been tended to. Yeah, this one. Yep, we can hew the first two ranks. Maybe kill the second. Early results are encouraging. Protect the child. Every time you attack the urchin, the woodsman will, will defend it. Okay. Exactly. Uh, very annoying. I don't need to clear that body. Uh, let's just kill him before he goes invisible again. But it's not going to work because he's got <laughs> a block skill. Uh, but pick to the face ignores block. Wait, but this is a guard. Right? My mistake. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good? Okay. We're totally fine. Uh, we're going to spend his tokens anyway. And... Uh, Still standing. You have a dodge. Reduce stress. Hit him with the blight. Wow. Repost. After the dodge, let's go. Repost rules. Alright, you are bleeding and could use a little healing up, but you're self proficient. So let's just, yeah, Solemnity. Heals himself, reduces his own stress. Wasn't low enough for the healing. Need to pay more attention. Uh, anyway, let's just get one of these bodies out of the way. So it says round four out of five. We have five rounds to clear this encounter. What happens if you don't? Nothing. We, okay. we get no rewards. Oh. But we'll be okay. He's pretty close to dead. You're too far back in the ranks, so he's all about hitting whatever is first or second. Uh, that body cleared, so we can hit second rank. He's on death's door. He's on the magic <laughs> pixel. <laughs> oh, oh. and we got him. even the greatest of threats. The kill. Those extra damage from. So everyone has death's door, which is a mechanic that means at zero you have a chance to survive, and you have there's a you have to <laughs> heal or die. You know. And every you can get hit again and still be on death's door. But it's a percentage chance of failing. Some mode, relics. What's that thing? Some smoke, smoke bombs bomb. and uh Gnarly Yes, muscles. damage. It's good. Damage is good. Some melee. Big damage. 20%, plus twenty plus fifteen. 15 he's, he's thirty-five. Absolutely crushing with damage. Relationships are all positive for him so far. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yep. So far, so good. Combat items. Sure. You both have laudanum. Um, for the resistances, what is STN? Stun. Stun. And then, I guess, movement, debuff, and there was another one, D-I-S. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, the... Buff, Diva, Stealth, Unique, Special Other. Uh, do you remember... Uh, 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 sorry, do you remember what... what there were resistances. What, what color was it? Uh, disease, disease, disease. Disease, okay. Disease. There was green, that one. Yeah. There's yellow for, like, there's like a green, there's, a, there's two green. There's a green blight, and, and then there's disease. Through them, and so they must fall. Fanatics. All right, who's going to say what? With purpose. We advance relentless. They'll perish. And that gives us plus one strength in this fight. Or stroke the forge of battle. Well, these are cool, but this gives us an actual benefit down there. So let's take it. So not everyone wanted to talk there. 
Hey. Two facets of the same stone. Never one without the other. The boys. Back to back. <clears throat> the fire so, rises. So, th so those are all positive things to say, but only his, only the highwaymen's resulted in a buff for this fight, which is a strength token. Next attack deals fifty percent more damage. Yes. Uh, okay. So, uh, thrown dagger will ignore our dodge token when she is invisible. But we need to make that happen first. So then let's just deal with the support, uh, which can always be a problem. A slow dissection, an unavoidable end. Make it worse. Five damage. No line token this time around, therefore you take that dodge token away and do damage to this guy. Clean. A promising development. Damn. The leper, man. The leper. That's why you have him around. Duelist's advance. Uh, you get a dodge. No! Oh, damn. They care about each other. He took stress from his partner getting hit? A little bit. Oh, my God. But a lot. But the benefits be pay off the opposite way way more often. Mm. Point blank. Another impediment cleared with impunity. <laughs> uh, are you in the threshold for healing? No, you're still at over 33%. Do some stress reduction. There is comfort in company. This has no limits to the rounds, mind you, so I wouldn't oh. mind giving him some life. Yeah, getting some statuses taken care of and healing before we get out of this. So it, it was, battle. You, you can you can only heal in battle or at an end, right? So. Yeah. Stacked up. Messy, but effective. Well effective. <laughs> Bludgeoned. All right. Uh, currency. Grave robber only. Foreclosure yes. notice. This is an awesome item. I always really, really hope we get it in a run. And uh, burn resistance. This is fucking game changer. Game changer. percent extra action. If it's conditioning. We reduced our loathing. So only for Grave Robber uh, on crit. When she lands a crit, there's a 25% chance she'll get to act again. Okay. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to have. And we're in a, fl a burning area. So a little burn resistance wouldn't be the worst. All right. 